chocolate maker and today I'm going to be showing you all how to make three of my most favorite go-to winter drinks. I'm making this for eight times for a special segment called winter recipes. Let's get started. Okay, now the first drink I'm going to show you all how to make is a wine. You can get any wine that you can find. Cheap wine works perfectly well. Now mulled wine is warm wine which you need oranges for and cinnamon stick for and you have to heat it up and when you drink it, it really warms up your system. Okay, so for this I'm adding about two glasses of wine by eye. Into that goes in the juice of two oranges chop up two oranges and add them straight in. Literally, I'm going to squeeze in the juice and throw in the pit as well. Why I like to make it this way is because the wine really gets beautifully infused with the juice of the oranges as well as the zest of the oranges and it's all very very delicious okay now i'm adding two cinnamon sticks if you want to add star anise or cloves you can also do that and i'm adding about roughly two tablespoons of sugar now, all there's left to do is give it a mix just mix this all together and we're going to let this simmer not boil but simmer on medium heat and once we see the smoke kind of coming out we know that this is done all right so i'm just going to leave this to simmer and keep an eye on it in the meantime i'm going to show you all how to make hot toddy come on. now hot toddy is literally my go-to winter drink for many reasons not just because it tastes delicious but also because you know sometimes when I have that little sore throat or I'm not feeling very well or if I have a little you know stuffy nose or something I always request my husband to give me a nice cup or mug of hot toddy and it instantly makes me feel better puts me off to sleep and the next morning I feel very very good alright now this is a very easy very simple drink to make all you need is a holiday mug so get yourself a nice cute holiday mug. Into that, I'm, I'm using brandy today, but if you don't have brandy at home, you can also use rum. Again, expensive, cheap, it really doesn't matter. As long as it is either rum or brandy, we're good to go. So this is about 30 ml of brandy going in. Oops, sorry, 60 ml of brandy going in. Into that, I'm going to add, I'm adding Tulsi honey. You can add any honey that you can find. This is from Pratapgarh Collectives. A friend of mine is making these. So there's the honey. So about a teaspoon or so of honey. If you like it to be sweeter, please feel free to add more honey. And I'm just going to squeeze in the juice of one lemon. And you can either use lemon or lime, whatever you have handy again. That in. I love lemon so I add the entire one, the juice of one entire lemon but if you're someone that will find it a little too sour please feel free to use only half and then I'm just going to take a cinnamon stick as a stirrer and just stir this in again you can totally add Taranis or cloves or whatever else you'd like to add in this. I like it simple just with a cinnamon stick and I love the flavor of the cinnamon stick to kind of infuse with the hot water. So I'm now just going to add some hot water. And that's it. Literally this is how easy it is to make a hot toddy. And you can sip on this while you're watching TV or maybe with your friends. This is a great hot drink to drink during the winter days. Yum. 
Okay, so the mulled wine has started to simmer around the corners. And that's it, we don't need this to be on a rolling boil. Just take a ladle full and add it in. If you want to strain it, you can strain it. But I like the little bits of oranges that come along with the wine. You know, once I've added, served at least one portion of mulled wine to everyone, maybe the guests that have come at home, I leave the oranges and the cinnamon stick there and I just pour a little more wine and let that again come to a simmer. So you know, I'm not going to waste the oranges that I've added in. And that's it. Mulled wine. I swear it instantly warms up your system. It's a great day drink to have during the winter time with the sun out and you know if you're doing a little brunch with your family, maybe on Christmas day, do try this, you will thank me. Alright, the last drink that I'm going to show you on how to make is an all-time winter favourite of everyone. It's a hot chocolate, but it's a hot chocolate with a twist because I'm adding a little bit of chilli in it. I think the flavour of chocolate and chilli goes so well together. It's a very simple recipe with very basic ingredients which you'll all find in your kitchens. So do try it and let me know what you think. So I'm just adding about a cup of milk. Full fat milk, please do not use low fat, skimmed, none of that works. Into that, I'm adding non-alkalized cocoa powder from all things. Since I told you guys I'm also a chocolate maker, we make cocoa powder and coverture chocolate at our factory. So that's cocoa powder. I'm adding a little bit of sugar, so about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. You can add brown sugar if you have brown sugar. Add raw cane sugar if you have that. Just give this a quick stir. And now I'm adding chilli. So this, these are dried red chilies. So I'm just adding one and I'm going to let this infuse in with the warm milk. And let me tell you, this is delicious. If you want a really thick hot chocolate, you can also add about half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of corn flour into this. And that's it, you'll have, it, you'll have a slightly thicker hot chocolate. And yeah, I think these are quite basic ingredients. I'm going to put this on, again, medium heat. I'm going to let this simmer, not come to a rolling boil. And I'm, keep, I'm going to keep stirring it while it's simmering. All right, now while this comes to a simmer, I'm going to keep stirring it. I'm also adding half a cinnamon stick. Now, why I love hot chocolate so much is because it is so versatile. Firstly, it's delicious, it's yummy. Who doesn't like a hot chocolate? Instead of chili, you can add vanilla. Instead of vanilla, you can add any kind of extract as well. Maybe a few drops of peppermint extract. That will be really, really nice. So yeah, you can even add a little bit of autumn zest in it. So you can flavor it with pretty much anything as long as you use your creativity and use the flavors that you like. I think all flavors pair so beautifully with chocolate. And I, for one, love the combination of chocolate and chili. Now that it's come to a simmer, I'm just going to pour this into my cup. Chocolate and chili hot chocolate. Oh my god, this is yummy. I can feel the little kick of chili. Too good. Alright, so these are the three drinks that we've made today. I absolutely love them and if you like them, don't forget to try them out. Yeah, thank you, good times. I love making these holiday drinks for your audience. Take care, guys. Bye. Happy holidays.